हर काउंटिंग सेंटर में एक सेंट्रल ऑब्जर्वर है जो वहां बैठा हुआ है वो सर्टिफाई करेगा रिजल्ट को हर राउंड के उसी के बाद डिक्लेयर होगा हमारा एजेंट है वो हमारे मतलब आईज एंड ईयर्स वहां बैठे हुए हैं हम उनके सबके कॉन्टेक्ट में हैं और कहीं से भी कोई प्रॉब्लम आएगी हमारे सेंट्रल ऑब्जर्वर्स को बताएंगे कैंडिडेट्स वहाँ मौजूद हैं वो लोग और हमारे पास आएगी बात तो उसको इमीडिएट ठीक करेंगे कोई गलती करने की संभावना नहीं है सबको सख्त हिदायतें दी गई हैं लेकिन अगर कोई कहीं से किसी को शक है कोई शिकायत आती है तो बताएं हमें एविडेंस के साथ हम लोग इमीडिएट कार्रवाई करें अपडेट कैसे कर रहे हैं वेबसाइट वगैरह पे जो लोग देख रहे हैं आप बता रहे वो कंटिन्यूस अपडेट हो रहा है वो डायरेक्ट डाटा फीड करते हैं सेंटर से हर टेबल से और हर राउंड के बाद वो कंटिन्यूस फीड हो रहा है अब ये तो शुरू हो गया है फर्स्ट राउंड के रिजल्ट आने शुरू हो गए हैं नौ बज चुके हैं सारी टीम हमारी रात भर दो तीन दिन से यहीं काम कर रही है सो रही है यहीं पर और आ जाएगा अब धीरे धीरे खुल ही जाएगा थैंक यू चलते थैंक यू All right, whom you just heard there was Rajiv Kumar, election commissioner, who has said that the team has been working, in fact, tirelessly through the night. The first phase election results are out, and of course, the final results will be out shortly as well. As per the as per Rajiv Kumar, whom you just heard right now, the team has been working tirelessly. The re results are slowly trickling in. All right. As always, uh, at the top of every hour, we're getting you the top five developments. There are more developments coming in. The NDA is hovering around the 275 mark in trends. Of course, they've crossed the majority mark that they need, and these are, of course, initial trends. The India block touches 200, which is definitely better than what the exit polls had suggested. Prime Minister Modi, Congress, Rahul Gandhi are ahead in their seats. Omar Abdullah ahead, and Mehbooba Mufti trails. Those are the updates coming in from. Jammu and Kashmir and BJP's Kangana Ranaut, Hema Malini, they lead. And those are the trends which are coming in at the moment. These are top five developments in the last half hour. We are going to be tracking this closely for you. Of course, Shivan, and with the early trends that are trickling in, so are the reactions from all different factions. Let's just, just listen into some of the prominent voices that have come in. Today, India's public will select the BJP's democratic leadership. It will select Prime Minister Modi's ideas of change, and it will select the vision of a developed India. I know that Prime Minister Modi will make a comeback for a third term. This election marks an irreversible trend in India's politics, where India has firmly. and irreversibly chosen development and performance based politics delivery based politics welfare based politics over communal casteist and corrupt parties today's results will hold forth for modi's developed india and the entire nation is awaiting modi to become the prime minister for a third term Exit polls, so Exit polls were manufactured by the biased media. Today's results will be the verdict of the people of India, of the people of Himachal Pradesh. We should be in a comfortable position to form the government at the national front too. To get PM Modi back in power, the public has filled the EVM machines with votes for him. Let the counting conclude, and you'd know that the BJP-led NDA alliance will perform better than the exit polls. Of course slowly we are getting state wise some of the results that are coming in as well right now the numbers that are coming in from Tamil Nadu the DMK is at 3 the CPIM at 2 the Congress at 2 and the PMK at 1 for more on this we now also have with us our correspondent Siddharth MP from Chennai he's been tracking all of the developments Siddharth what can you tell us So indeed what's uh, unfolding now the initial trends at least are as per what has been projected because Tamil Nadu has been a stronghold for long of the India alliance which of course is led by the DMK the Congress and the left parties so what we're seeing now is exactly a reflection of that particular projection we've seen in the exit polls as well so one of the encouraging signs here for the BJP uh, is that one of their allies PMK is leading so pmk it's a former mp's wife who's contesting from there saumya anubhani so she is leading in dharmapuri so we must count it as one for the nda and at least seven for the india alliance led by the dmk in tamil nadu so that's the kind of picture we're getting in tamil nadu and we'll have to wait and watch because 
It's expected that anywhere between 25 to 35 seats would be bagged by the India Alliance in Tamil Nadu, a crucial state for the opposition alliance. So we'll have to wait and watch um, how things evolve from here. NDA also expecting at least two to four seats. So we have to wait and watch as those constituencies also data is, you know, gradually trickling in because Coimbatore is a hot seat to watch out for where BJP has fielded their leader K. Annamalai. So that is a very important seat to watch out for. Their state president is contesting. And that's one area where the BJP has also seen success in the past, which is a very, very strong indication that the party hopes to do well there. Also, that's also one of the places in Tamil Nadu where Prime Minister did a complete roadshow uh, as a show of strength that, you know, they can win Coimbatore. So we'll have to wait and watch for Coimbatore. We have to wait and watch for... We have to wait and watch for Kanyakumari. Of course, most importantly, there's also three seats in Chennai city alone where we are. Chennai Central, Chennai North and Chennai South. All three places BJP has fielded candidates. So, gradually as the data trickles in for these regions as well, we'll track the developments here. All right, Siddharth. Uh, Mr. Padhya, if I would just to, I would like to come to you. Now, the initial trends are suggesting a much better figure for the India bloc as compared to what the exit polls had suggested. Majority of the exit polls had pegged them below 140 or 150 max. The current trend is showing them nearly at 221, which is close to that figure that they were kind of proposing earlier. I, I think it's a good trend uh, as far as the India alliance is concerned. Uh, it has really bucked the trend as far as uh, you know the exit polls are concerned. Yes. So, but you know these are early uh, results. Again, I mean, yes. early we yet to see what happens. Uh, but I think uh, probably the uh, you know the exit polls may not have got it right uh, to the extent that they claimed. So we have to wait and see how it uh, goes uh, because uh, the ND alliance is still ahead. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, seats, in terms of seats, are so likely to win. Uh, but. It's all, you know, final figures. That's what matters. Yes. <laughs> now, of course, that is the case, sir. But the NDA is still important to mention that it did, it has reached the 275 mark. Now, this has to give us some sort of a picture of where things are yes. going. So, see, 272 is the halfway mark. Yes. And if anybody is crossing that, will form the government. And especially NDA, uh, you know, it has its own partners. And it can also depend on a few others who would be supporting the government if, if it's needed. Uh, for example, BJD uh, has been a supporter of the BJP earlier, but they're not part of the India Alliance. So, like this, they have you know other friends outside if it is required. But uh, let's wait and see. Maybe on their own, they would be able to get 300 plus or whatever uh, NDA. That's what. Uh, uh, I Mr. Padhya, we, we initially, we earlier just spoke with the Congress spokesperson and uh, she mentioned that they are hopeful and they are doing well in states like Haryana, Punjab and also in Uttar Pradesh. How do you see the opposition bloc faring in these specific states? You see, Haryana, they were expected to do well yes. because, you know, the BJP has gone down there and, you know, the uh, government is also on yes. the edge. Uh, three people have left and uh, they are depending on independence to, uh, for the government to survive. And Punjab, of course, they had done eight seats last time. So that's no surprise. Whereas if they were to do well, they should have done well in Karnataka as well. Yes. I don't see the numbers coming there. In Karnataka, I, the last I saw was BJP was leading in 20, mm. which means, um, um, you know, maybe one or two for the JDS. So which means six for the Congress. Well, they were expected to get about 15 minimum. So I don't know where it will end up finally. So they are doing well in certain pockets. We need to see where else they can search.